Um, I think the uh, the way that Durka works is that res recaps. Res recaps. Yo, res recaps. Res recaps. Res recaps. Res recaps. Res recaps. New champion Boaster and Yinsu talk about how to control Durka. All right, let's hear it. Okay, next question. Boaster, when Durka is overheating, oh, question, a little, how do you reel him in or do you just let him fly or, and always, no matter what? Um, I think the uh, the way that Durka works is that I think it's in scrims. I think with Durka, if you don't want to point it out in an official game, because in an official game, he's generally quite disciplined. Like, you let him pop off. Like, he's got that confidence that no player has when he plays. Um, and it's a really important thing in a player is to have that sort of confidence. I'll give an example. So, say I'm going for a peak on ice. It, I'm on B, Icebox, as Viper, jump spotting as a defender. Now, I have the option, if I really wanted to, to push B into the garage bit or push into the, like the elbow bit, you know the bit what I mean on B? I have the option to do that. However, in the back of my head, I'm thinking if I do that, I die. If I do that and I die, then we lose the smoke, we lose the, the, the viper spits, we lose um, retake potentially for B. Um, and what do we get if we get a kill? We get a kill and like, uh, like it disrupts the enemy's uh, thought process. So anyway, um, that's the kind of thought process that goes in my head. I don't want to die because if I die, we lose the round potentially. So, but what Durka thinks is, I don't think Durka thinks like that. And that's the difference between Durka and I is that when he goes for a play, he believes full heartedly that he's going to get the kill. And, and he then does if he ten, dies, nine out of ten times it doesn't does. matter too much because we might still win the round. But like, if he gets a kill, then he'll he'll it's a good it's a good thing. Now I do think sometimes Derek doesn't go for the right kill sometimes, and he does go for the silly plays. But that's something you have to fix in scrim. And then if he does get a kill, uh, the next thing you have to do is stopping him from going for more kills because the way that it works is if you're in a five v four advantage, you don't really need to make any more plays. So if you can get a kill and get out without getting traded, that's really good for you. And that's what we try and teach Durka, is that, Durka, you don't need to go for more. Just get one, if you can, and then get out. This so, event, he was good with that. Yeah, yeah. Really, really good. But it's so yeah. funny, because he gets a kill now, and he goes, guys, I'm going back, I'm going back. <laughs> and I'm like, discipline, Durka. That's what I like to see, discipline in scrims and stuff. Yeah, I mean... Normally, Durka goes for, like, every... He goes for the ace. <laughs> he goes for the ace every time, and I'm like, Discipl discipline, discipline, come back now, come back, 5v4, 5v4, 5v4. As soon as he gets a kill, you always hear me go, 5v4, 5v4, 5v4. Yeah, but 9 out of 10 times he gets 2. Yeah, well. He does get 2. And then I go, 5v3, 5v3, come back, yeah. Durka, fucking get back! <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna break my desk. <laughs> what is going on? Durka really did pop off during lock in. Make sure to hit the like and sub button if you enjoyed, and enter the giveaway in the comments worth $50 in Valorant points. Alright guys, I'll catch you in the next one.